just as I suggested a couple of days ago regarding my video with Apex finally blocking cheats, it seems like it's not just Apex that's working on this investigation of third-party applications, but console industry as well. And what I think is so good about this is it's probably easier for the console companies to do this, but it also fixes this issue that applies to all the games rather than just Apex trying to figure it out, just Call of Duty trying to figure it out. So yeah, some really good news for you guys, but also some really bad news took place as well that I feel like I have to cover. I can't ignore the elephant in the room. So if you want to stay up to date with all things going on in the Apex Legends news scene, then of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's go ahead and dive into what's going on. Firstly, I did want to mention the unfortunate bad news, whatever you want to call it. This predominantly doesn't affect Apex, but it can in some way. So on the Xbox side of things, Microsoft is cutting 1,900 employees. This is coming after a lot of gaming companies have been making cuts lately. Riot made some cuts. Uh, some other companies, I believe, made some cuts not long ago, but Microsoft is cutting 1,900 employees from its gaming division just three months after its $69 billion acquisition of Activision and Blizzard. Now, most of these cuts are going to affect Activision Blizzard. So of course, that's more Call of Duty oriented, not Apex. But of course, that's also going to affect Xbox, ZeniMax. And to some degree, it shouldn't directly affect Apex. But in general, the console world and the Xbox world specifically, it is going to affect. Like I also said, there's some really good news. You guys may remember a couple of days ago, we made a video titled Apex is finally starting to block these cheats and a lot of people actually were saying like you know you're this is a bit of a stretch they block rewaz right if you guys did not see this video apex had actually implemented a new addition that kind of blocked applications known as rewaz call of duty did the exact same thing people were using this to get aim assist on mouse and keyboard and such but you would basically have your game crash if it was detected in call of duty and then apex would just main menu like give you a bug saying that there was a bad integrity check you need to uninstall this stuff and so yes it actually was blocked and this was great because a lot of people were abusing this but some people were upset because there was a legitimate way of using this program that wasn't cheating and a lot of people were not happy about that but that's besides the point i use this as a way to say that i feel like that cronus cronus zen cronus max all that stuff would be coming next coming shortly and it wasn't actually by apex but it was from playstation that has now decided to block the cronus zen device a brand new playstation 5 update appears to have completely blocked cronus zen and what was funny is cronus's response to this i kind of found to be passive aggressive like they were kind of annoyed that this was happening which i understand from their business standpoint but on the other hand i mean bro we know that people are abusing this and it needed to be blocked so what i was saying is really good about this is you don't have to rely on apex finding a fix for it and then call of duty finding a fix for it if the consoles themselves can find a fix for it i don't know how you'd really do that for pc but then it just fixes all the games suffering from this issue well there was also a response coming from cronus and they weren't too happy about this of course they said we are aware of the issue with zen and the ps5 they're actually trying to fix this they're trying to bypass the playstation detecting this and banning it and i'm like bro just give up it's over it's chalk but they said they're aware of the issue with the zen and the ps5 and as of this morning which was yesterday morning the console is prompting everyone to update the 24.01-08.60.00 and if you do the zen will no longer connect to the ps5 without disconnecting shout out to playstation for fixing this xbox i hope you're next however this update is not mandatory they say they start to go on about how you can get around it simply skip the update and everything should still work with the zen as expected note it will update in rest mode too so you should disconnect the ps5 from the internet skip the update then reconnect it again there is currently no timeable on a fix so don't be offended if you're directed to check this notice when asking for an eta it could be 24 hours it could be 24 days it could be 24 months we won't know until we've dug into it cronus just just don't dig into it it's over bro it's over the notice will be updated as soon as we have more information and we appreciate your patience temporary solution ps5 remote play work around so just days after i told you that cronus would probably be next after rewaz was getting attacked it actually did happen but it wasn't by way of apex it was by way of the console specifically and shout out to playstation for doing so because this fixes a lot of our problems and especially not having to rely on respawn to fix the issue i would much rather rely on sony so the prayer is now that sony has done this we hope xbox is of course soon to follow and i really as a pc player i don't know if there is a typical fix for this that's relatable because we don't play in a closed in operating system like this so even though we've started to see like pc type of hacks go into console not even just console lobbies but actual console 
console players are somehow getting aimbot and wall hacks we don't normally see that in apex and we haven't really seen it until maybe the last couple of months or so so the cheats are developing unfortunately but all in all and normally in general console has a much better job of the cheater situation because it's all closed in and there's so much more i guess monitoring you can do when it comes to integrity of gaming console is just so much better usually i just wish that they could become more powerful and a lot more accessible or if pc could find a way to make it a lot more easy to monitor and all these third-party applications not coming in so interested to see what you guys have to say about this new cronus update being completely banned from playstation what do you console players think and what are some other things that maybe console and apex should look into to maybe start prohibiting as well of course if you want to stay up to date with all things going on in the apex legends news scene and how it affects us then like the video subscribe to the channel and tomorrow we're going to be talking about the future of apex legends as we talk about some of the new content that we could look forward to next season i'll see you guys in the next one take care of yourselves and until next time later gators